Guys, you may well have heard that there are some really bad reviews for Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. And all I can say is, they must have been watching a different fucking movie to me. Welcome back guys, Mr. Rawlings here. I thought I'd do a quick uh, review on Batman vs Superman saw it last night. So yeah, I do think they must have seen a different movie to me. But let's bring it down a notch, because this isn't a perfect movie. Not by a long shot. But guys, at times, it is awesome. I've seen some of the reviews now, uh, I didn't want to look at them beforehand because I didn't want any spoilers at all. Bearing in mind, I won't give any major plot themes away, or spoilers as such, but you might want to just, you know, bear, that, bear in mind that I might mention something you're like, oh, I didn't know it was like that, but I, I won't try and spoil anything for you, just so you know. So anyway, I read one review, and it was from um, some writer at The Telegraph, and if you're outside the UK, The Telegraph is basically a, um, a UK broadsheet newspaper, so they're a bit snooty. But anyway, a couple of the points he had, you know, were legitimate, but the main point he seemed to be sort of delivering to us each time was that it didn't seem believable. Are you kidding me? It's from comics. The DC Universe. Where aliens and cosmic beings exist. Magic exists. Time travel exists. Heaven and hell exist. Superheroes exist. Monsters, impossibly advanced technology, and parallel dimensions exist. And you're going on about how it doesn't seem realistic. Are, are you okay? Are you off your meds? Do you need to go in a dark room and sit down, relax, and just have a word with yourself? Because I think you do. Nothing of this movie has to make sense. It's from comics where load of crazy shit ton of stuff happens all the time. So just ignore that part of it and move on. Now, uh, the reviews that focus more on the plot and the plot holes, it's fair enough because like I say, it's not a perfect movie. There's times it's too slow, too confusing, too cheesy and maybe even too surprisingly different to what you would imagine from two iconic uh, heroic characters such as these. But Jesus Christ, what do you want? Because if you want them just to completely stop the superhero movies, then fair enough. Because if you think that the way they're being represented in live action movies isn't true to how you've read them in comics or how you believe they should be, and that they're ruining characters that you're in love with, then fair enough. But if you're seriously going to say that this movie isn't as good as Batman Forever or Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, then you're off the deep end. There's no way back for you. Just like Bruce Wayne, you're batshit crazy. Speaking of bats, although Christian Bale to me um, is the best Batman I've seen on film, you know, in live action, I think Ben Affleck actually did a really good job. Much better than his Daredevil attempt, not to say that he was terrible as Daredevil, but we know the movie was pretty bad, right? I thought he was good as Batman, he looks hard as fuck. Thumbs up for Ben. Don't be too sad, buddy, okay? Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. If you like superhero movies to have good special effects, this movie has got it. If you like it to have a ridiculously stunning woman, uh, who actually does a really good job for Wonder Woman bringing her to live action, this has it. If you want to see Batman really bringing the smack down with some goons, this has it. Want easter eggs? By George this has it! Although some were a bit too much to be fair, um, there's, there's a couple of nods to the Justice League movies, or Justice League movie, depending on how well they do. Um, it was like as a neon sign in front of your face going, there's going to be a Justice League movie, you, you need to come and watch it, and it was just a bit much, but I can forgive it for that. However, if you want to see a really good representation of Lex Luthor, then no, this movie hasn't got it. And that's actually nothing against Jesse Eisenberg, because the character he played in the movie was a really good villain. He was a good character, but he was a terrible Lex Luthor, if that makes any sense. But that's just my opinion. And yes, there are things wrong in the movie. There's times stuff happens and you're just like, why did that happen? Or how has that happened? There was no explanation before it, it's just, this is now the scene that's happening. You're like, oh, okay, let's go with that then. And possible spoiler alert, so put your fingers in your ears. Um, there are a lot of dream sequences, which were a bit strange. Um, you don't really know why it was happening, or necessarily what they meant at the time. 
But there's nothing wrong with dream sequences in a movie. It's just trying to... Maybe it was trying to be a bit too deep, a bit too clever. But, so what? They're, they're allowed to do that. And, talking back about the um, review I read, one of the points he was criticising, because he was criticising as much as he could, was that Batman still seems to be battling his demons because of one of his dream sequences, or hallucinations, whatever they were. Well yeah, Batman is a bit mental, he goes around in a costume as though he's a bat, beating up people, because he was, you know, a little kid when he saw his parents gunned down in front of him. Yes, he's got psychological issues, but that is his character, you can't criticise that in the movie, because it's not the movie's fault he's like that, that's the character. Anyway, fingers out the ears now, because that's basically all the spoilers there'll be. But guys, if you haven't seen it, I honestly think you should give it a go, I really do. I think a lot of the reviews have been super critical, or something. I mean, they must have been watching a different movie to me, because I'm not by any means a Superman fanboy or something like that. I do like Superman, I do like Batman, I prefer Batman to Superman, I'll admit it. Um, but they're not my favourite superheroes of all time, and I'm not a huge fanboy, and I didn't think um, all the Batman <laughs> movies were good, because they're not, obviously. So it's like, you can believe me, I'm just trying to say you can believe me. If I say it's a fairly good movie, and you're a subscriber of mine, or even if you're not, I think maybe you'll enjoy it as well. And if you don't, that's totally fine. And if you think it's wrong for because it's not true to the comics or something, then fair enough. But just remember, it doesn't have to be because it's not a comic. If you think the plot was bad, fair enough. It, it's not ideal. But, like I say, what do you want? A lot of plots in comic books aren't very good, are they? Let's be honest. So yeah, if you disagree and you think the movie's shit, that's totally fine. That's your opinion. And a lot of people seem to agree with you. So that's fair enough. But I just think some people will enjoy it and you should give it a go. I just think you need to give superhero movies a little bit of grace. Because they're not like normal movies, are they? And if you haven't seen it yet and you've seen this review, and you go and see it because of my review, and then afterwards you think, that was, that was quite good, then please come back. If you're not subscribed already, click subscribe as my reward, okay? One final point, it is a long movie, so it does feel like it's taking a long time sometimes. I don't think I'd be able to watch it again in one sitting, I want to watch it again in one sitting. But I 100% want to watch it again. As soon as it's like out on Blu-ray or whatever, I'll be getting it. And I'll be maybe watching it all in one go, but at least, you know, over two sittings or something like that. Because the thing is, when a certain thing happens in the movie, it doesn't feel right for it to end there. So it has to carry on, but it does mean that it takes a while. But if you if it was split into two movies, basically, it wouldn't work. It's not enough for two movies, and it does deserve to be in one, but it is just a long movie. I'm boring myself now, I'm sorry. <laughs> so guys, if you like that, please click like, click subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next video. And until then, don't always listen to what reviews say, and make up your own mind. Bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.